Hi there, this is the Details Flowers software, and today we're going to go over setting up your company. Clicking the three horizontal lines in the top left hand corner, we're going to click on Company and get started by uploading your info. On this page here, you can upload your logo and all of your company details. In the bottom left hand side, you're going to see your subscription area. This allows you to update your plan or adjust your payment information. Right below that is Authorize Users. Our software comes with two logins, so this is where you can invite an additional teammate to use the software. Across the top of the page, we're going to head on over to the Event Defaults. This page here comes preloaded with a wedding template. You're going to notice we have things like the bouquet section or the boutonniere section already set up, and you're going to spend some time to customize this to suit your company best. The estimated prices are used for a quick quote when you're getting that initial numbers from your client to know roughly what that event will cost. So adjust these accordingly. From there, you can rename any of these line items. So whatever you prefer to be there, you can just simply type in what you would like. You can add additional rows below that or delete any off. Right next to the X is a capital TP. This allows you, if you click in that section, to set the line item to be taxed as either a service, labor, or not at all. If you prefer to reorganize sections, you can use the trash can next to that section. Once you remove it, you can find it back on the left-hand side and choose to reorganize it however you see fit. We do have some more worksheet settings on the left-hand side, such as our fees. I personally like to keep them at the bottom of my page. And so what I can do here is drag and drop that fee section over, choose to name that fee whatever I see fit. In here we have the option to apply the fee to a certain area and whether it is a flat amount or a percentage. So for things like labor, you might want this preset on your company settings. Another line item would be discounts. It works just like the fee section except for it's going to take money off. choosing whether it's a flat amount or a percentage. From there, we have our staff and labor location. This gives you the option of count hours and rate, and you can be a little less transparent and maybe just name it like the setup team. Once you're finished customizing this worksheet here, you can save it at the bottom keeping in mind that you can make any of these adjustments once you're in a client's account as well. Across the top, we're going to head on over to the contract terms. These terms are preloaded into the software, so just giving you a nice start. If you'd like to read what's within each order name here, you just click the arrow and then the right hand side will view that information. You can delete any of these line items out and you can start to add your own. Once again, save is found at the bottom of the page. Across the top, we have our financials. This area here is going to allow you to set your currency and any other payment information. On the right hand side, you can go ahead and set your default payments. So clicking into the line item to rename it, you can delete that row off, you can add more. You'll notice we give you a type, so that just chooses between a flat dollar amount or a percentage, and you can even choose when that payment is due. All this payment information can be adjusted per client. This will just be the default that it standardly sets to. Our last tab across the top is invoicing. We are powered by Stripe, so you have the option to connect with this merchant processor through our software. It's really lovely because it's going to give you the option of this invoice ready email to remind your clients when their payment is due. You can have a preset message and you can customize that per client as well. Once the client makes a payment, you'll have an automatic thank you email that will go out. This is an optional feature. We also give you a location to manually track payments as they come through if you're not using our invoicing. If you have any questions during your time with details, you'll notice a chat box in the bottom left hand corner and you can always reach us Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks so much.